Hey all, my name is Kushbu and welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. In this video, we are going to see the question ambiguous coordinates. We had some two dimensional coordinates like 1,3 or 2,0.5 and then we removed all the commas and decimal points and spaces and end up with a string S. Return a list of strings representing all possibilities for what our original coordinates could have been. Our original representation never had extraneous zeros or extra zeros, so we never started with numbers like 00 or 0.0 or 0.00, 1.0 or these numbers. Or any other number that can be represented with less digits. Also, a decimal point within a number never occurs without at least one digit occurring before it. So, we never started with numbers like 0.1. The final answer list can be returned in any order and also note that all the coordinates in the final answer have exactly one space between them occurring after the comma. So this is how we need to give the output. These are the cases which are not going to happen. So these are the exit conditions in the second paragraph. And so here's the question. In the example one, we are given a string with 123 in the bracket and so if we see, we can have the number as 1, 23 or we can have 12, 3 or we can have a number with a dot which is 1.2, or 1, 2.3 in this. So these are the possible coordinates that we could get from the number 123. And here's the second example and similarly we are given some more examples. In the constraint, we are given the length which would be between 4 and 12 and the string is going to be enclosed within the brackets like this. So that's the note that is attached with this question. Now let's see what are the steps that we need to perform and how we can get the solution for this question. So we'll be going through a modular approach for this particular problem. Rather than writing a shorter code, we'll write a modular code for this. So let's take this example over here, which is 0, 1, 2, 3, which is initially given to us as enclosed in the bracket and so the number that we have is 0, 1, 2, 3 when we remove the brackets. Now this number is a coordinate so need to be a two part thing that is x and y. So it can be broken down into three states that is you can have a comma after 0 or after 1 or after 2. So these would be the broken down coordinates. And now, as said in the question, we can also have a dot. So for all these coordinates that we could have got from here, we need to also see for the dot. So let's take these coordinates and now we'll try to bifurcate it further. So over here in the first one, we have two numbers 0 and 123. And we need to apply the dot as we had done with the comma. So 0 remains 0 because we don't have more numbers that can accommodate the dot. But for 123, we can break it down. So it becomes either 1.23 that is a dot after 1 or a dot after 2 that is 12.3. Similarly, we can do it with the second example wherein we have two numbers 0, 1 and 23 and we can have a dot in between these numbers like this. As we are mentioned that we cannot have a dot in the front or at the end because there should always be a number on both sides of the dot. Doing the same with the third one which is 0, 1, 2 and 3 and breaking it down so we get these numbers out of the example that is given to us. Now over here we have everything that we need. The next step that we need to do is eliminate the numbers which are not going to be valid. For example the number like 0, 1. So in the question, it was mentioned that there won't be extraneous zero, that is extra zeros. Over here, we can see we have an extra zero with this one. So this won't be possible. And similarly, 0, 1, 2 and 0, 1.2 is also not going to be possible. So let's remove these numbers. And now we are remaining with X and Y coordinates that could be there. Is our task done? No. Now we need to find all the combinations that is a combination of this x with all the y's and if we would have had another x then we would have also had the combination of that one with all the y's. So it is going to be like this that is 
we would be combining 0 with all the combinations of y or the number. Similarly for the second and third coordinate system and so this is going to be our final answer. That is we now have all the possible coordinates that could have been there in the original coordinates. So over here we saw three things that is first is breaking down as per the comma then breaking down as per the dot and then eliminating the invalid choices. After that is done we are going to form all the coordinates combinations with the ones we have got. The rest is simple. Now how do you validate your numbers? For validations we can say that we have three basic rules. If the number does not have a dot, the number should either be a zero itself or else should not contain any leading zero. That is it should not start with zero if it isn't a zero. Secondly if you have dot then you have a two part thing that is for the number before the dot that is for the first half the number should either be zero or should not have any leading zeros that is same as the case wherein we were not having any dots. For the number that occurs after the dot that is the second half should not have any trailing zeros that is 1.20 is not valid it should just have been 1.2. So these are the conditions for checking the validity for the numbers. Now that we know everything that we need for this question, let's go ahead and code it out. The first and the foremost thing that we need is a list of result. And secondly, what we need is to reduce our string by removing the brackets that we have. So I need to take the substring of the original string that is given for performing the operations on it. And that would be starting from the first index till the second last index. After this, we will take a for loop and we are going to break the string into a coordinate system. So we are breaking the string in x comma y form. And so our first comma is going to be in the place that is first index. So it goes over here and so we will start from index equal to 1. And now we will call our helper method wherein we will pass both the coordinates or both the strings. So that would be substring of 0 to i and the substring that is starting from i till the end. So this helper function would internally call all the methods that would be needed to produce the result and that result is going to be stored in the list. So finally we can just return the result. So that's all about the main function. Now let's write the helper function. So in here we need the list of all the numbers with a dot representation for x and for y. So that would be a list of string and I'm going to take a function that would add the dots in the string x and in the string y. After I have got everything that I need, I need to iterate and generate the combinations that could be formed by using these both lists. So I will take a for loop and I will check if that particular string is valid. Then I need to form its combinations with the y string and that too if the y string is valid. So if the combination could be formed, I will just add it in my result and in the result we need to add the string with a bracket and a comma. So let's take a bracket plus my string plus a comma after which there needs to be a space plus the y coordinate and finally terminated by a bracket. So we need the string in the form of this that is 1 comma space 2 3 so that's the format that we are going to follow now we have our helper method now we need to write the method for appending the dot and to check whether our number is valid or not so let's write those methods let's first write the put dot method so this is going to be similar to breaking the strings but only here we need to append those strings with a dot. 
So let's take a for loop and we'll be adding it in the result. So let's take a result variable over here and over here we are going to add the two substrings appended with a dot in between and those substrings would be the substrings from 0 to 1 and 1 to length or that is 0 to i and i till length. So let's write and that's all for this. Finally just return the list and one thing that we missed over here is adding the whole string as it is. That is if we are having a string 123 we will be adding that string too in our result. So we will do result.add the string s and then we will be breaking that string by adding dots. Now comes the final function that is is valid. So let us write that it would be a boolean function and it would have all the three conditions that we saw. So firstly we will check whether the string has a dot or not. If it has a dot we will be performing some functions else we will be performing some other things. So the first rule that we saw was for no dots and for that the number should either be 0 or the number should not start with a 0. So that is what we are going to write that is if my string is equals to 0 I can say that we can return true because that is a valid number otherwise we can just return that string does not start with 0. So we need to return that whether the string starts with 0 or not because if it does not start from 0 it is true otherwise it is false. And if it contains a dot then we need to break it into two parts and that two parts would be broken down with a regex that says that split on the dot. So we will have part 0 and part 1. For part 0 the same condition needs to be there and for part 1 that is the second half we need to just check that it does not ends with 0. So we need to say that if the 0th part is equal to 0 is not the case and it starts with 0. In that case return false. Otherwise the first part has passed now we need to check the second part and the second part should not end with 0 should not be ending with 0 and that is the condition. So over here we are returning in every case return 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 and return. So now we have everything in place we have broken down the strings we have applied the dots we have made the combinations in put dot we have added all the dot separated numbers and over here we have checked whether the string is valid or not. So now let's go ahead and run this code and it's running fine for all the examples let's submit this and it got submitted. So that's it for this video guys I hope you like the video and I'll see you in another one. So till then keep learning keep coding bye bye.